we as a community can build into each other, get to know each other, Mm -hmm. work together, collaborate on projects. Our community is about survival. Um, A lot of time we, no matter if it's personal relationship or um, uh, business career, we always going to hit a wall. And and what what do you do when you hit the wall is the most key point. Right. This is the Transparency Podcast Show with hosts Shelby Chang and Michelle Herman from Long Beach, California, where we bring you life transformation stories, business, investment, personal development, entertainment, and more. We are going to talk about um, the background of our show, how they come about and what inspired us to do this show. And plus, we have our in-house guests. The owner of um, Podcast Place in Long Beach, Solomon Daniels. Hello. Our producer. Hello, how are you? Yeah, he is awesome. He's uh, LGBT friendly and he really cares about the people who comes in to yes. create the show yeah. and the creator. He spent time to learn about you, learn about your stories. So um, first of all, I'm going to thank our um, listeners and, and audience to support our shows. We got a lot of good feedbacks. Yes, we're getting great feedback. Yes, Thank and, you so much. and also thanks for all the um, guesses because um, without them, this show won't happen. It'll be much more boring. Yes. So um, so we encourage you to follow us, subscribe to us, and also um, maybe um, if you have any questions, you can always um, comment yes. um, in the comment, like YouTube or uh, Apple Podcasts. Or you can email us or leave a yeah. uh, message in our social media right. because we're going to um, answer all those questions on the show maybe yeah. monthly. Sure. So well, we want to have a participation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then we also going to have a um, newsletter. Yeah. So what are we going to have in the newsletter, Michelle? We are going to highlight different features that maybe our guests talked about. It's going to... Um, Things happening in our community, what's going on with us, what are our plans for the show. Yeah. And so we just want to, really, it's all about community building. And this is why I was excited to kind of come along on on your vision, because I'm about building our community. And just to see how that's been happening through your vision of the show has yes. been amazing. So Yeah. And then, you know, stay till towards the end of the show, because we're going to have a giveaway. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Our first giveaway. Okay, yeah. So, but it um, won't be a brand new car. <laughs> um. So I want to um kind of give a background of of how this show come about. Um. As many people probably knew, um, I'm a uh, film, TV uh, producer and maker in the past, and I study uh, communication art in college, which including radio is part of the um, major. Mm-hmm. However. <laughs> During that time, I my English was really bad. I'm I'm not comfortable talking, public speaking, especially in English. So I didn't really take any radio course. Oh, I skipped, interesting. I skipped okay. radio course. I only concentrate on film and TV. Okay. So years ago, um, after I transitioned, I made a movie, LGBT um, love stories, and then involved with some. Uh, shows as an actress, modeling, so it was fun. So after I done that, and then I still, I still have this back of my mind. I say, oh, maybe I should do more, like yeah, do a radio show right. of some sort or, or podcast. So one of my friend, he has a show at that time. Okay, it um, so he has this out like equipment, um, in his house. Okay, okay, so I was like, okay, maybe I can do a show with him. Or something, but this is years ago. Um, that it probably like five, five, six years ago. Okay. I'm in the middle of um, uh, transitioning. I'm not really full time yet, per se. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so, um, so during that time, I reach out, but but long story short, and then he he sold his equipment. Because he's moving. So, oh, wow. Yeah, so I was not always say, oh, oh, well, okay. So life move on. So, so, um, so I came about, about this idea again around uh, 2020, which when we have okay. COVID. Good okay? old COVID. Yes, because I'm, you know, everyone sitting at home, nothing to do and, and everything. So, so that's the time when I start um, 
feeling that okay, I should maybe start doing podcasts, thinking about podcasts mm-hmm. again. Yeah. And at the same time, because I, we have a lot of time at home, so I I started learning a lot about business, about personal development, yeah. and then I it hits me because I I realize、uh, personal development. Is part of、uh, life transformation. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely.、So、have you ever experienced that? Like when you,、um, like when you're not sure, you you kind of afraid. It's all.、Oh, it's、yeah. all. It's all about, you know, in your head. Right. But、exactly. if you like, 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 I, like the example I'm giving, I'm not comfortable、uh, public speaking in English, but I overcome. To do、um, podcasts, yes. So that that、yes. that will and you do amazing. Thank you <laughs> for with your help. <laughs> so、um, what I'm trying to say is,、um, so 2020, and then I reach out to another friend that she some sort had a business、um, background because I want this show to be about life transformation and also related to person personal development、yeah. and business、right. because that will encourage. People, trans trans community to do more business、right. because、um, we often get discriminated exactly、um, yep. from employment and all that.、Right. Yeah. So and then, like I said before, I was feel lonely without knowing anything. There's no trans colleagues、right. in the business.、Right. And by doing this show, I I reach out, I expand my my contact, my、okay. network. Right. <laughs> Yeah. So what happened is the person that I was reaching out in the beginning it didn't work out,、um, which I didn't give up because originally we was、um, supposed to start in January、okay. of this year, twenty twenty two, but we delayed it until March because of that reason. But I didn't give up, and I luckily I met Michelle and we hit it off, and she's you know sharing sharing with me、um, her business trend zone. And that's perfect,、um, aligned to what my vision is for the show.、Mm-hmm. And she also、um, re- uh, connect with me to with many、um, different business owner, trans、mm-hmm. community people. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's great. <laughs> that's that's where I come about. And also,、um, I want to mention、uh, Solomon because originally we were planning to do the show. Uh, our own, like recording, <laughs>、right. recording the audios, and that's kind of crazy and da- kinda dangerous. Crazy. Right. <laughs> But my business mindset kicks in. You know, you know how we are.、Mm-hmm. We 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 should always delegate out、yep. to 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 people who's more professional、right. in their field, instead of spend time and and delay the process. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. So I, I so that's how I feel about this show, and that's how I you know inspiring to do. To to tell stories because everybody's story is amazing and it it really inspire me as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So all, I I always say all stories matters. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that's how I came about. You know, doing、awesome. this show. <laughs> and it's funny because I never saw myself doing a podcast. <clears throat> I don't like my voice. I don't. <clears throat> excuse me. Like、um, appearing in front of camera. Yeah.、Um, and just the hassle of it, you know, all the equipment, and so that's、Bang. why. We were just talking about on the way here today of Shelby reaching out to Solomon and、yes. being the first one that she contacts because that happened to be relatively close to us, right?、Um, and to, to be able to have this as a resource and it's just elevated what we're trying to do so、mm-hmm. much. You can imagine if we're in our my little studio apartment or your apartment,、yes. trying to <laughs> sit、right. on the bed see, to yeah, they're going to see my bed in the background, <laughs> right? Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. But being again going back to building community,、yes. I think in some ways our community is very strong.、Mm-hmm. In other ways, it can. There's a lot of opportunity to grow. There's still competition and infighting and comparison that we all yes, have to work、yes. through. <clears throat> But the more that we as a community can build into each other, get to know each other,、mm-hmm. work together, collaborate on projects, the more that、um, we'll take care of our own and show a, a light of what. Our community really is about、yes. our real. Our community is about survival、mm-hmm. and growing and thriving and becoming who we all meant were meant to be. Yes, yeah. Because、um, like the example I give,、um, a lot of time we, no matter if it's personal relationship or、um, business career, we always gonna hit a wall. 
Yes. Eventually. <laughs> so, right. and, and what, what do you do when you hit the wall is the most key point. Right. right? Exactly. Because people can just give up or just forget about it. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, including yeah. transitioning. Sure. We, we, we're going to have like, like my personally, I had a wall when I transitioned, when I, um, you know, my, my, my last job, um, they let me go, yeah. but actually I was happy because I was, wasn't fully, um, out, you know, to be myself yet. But when they let me go, I feel relief. I was happy. Yeah, it worked out in the long run. Yes. It's still challenging though, because you challenging. had to figure things out and what were the next steps? Yes. And so I did, um, Ubering, I did Lyft mm -hmm. for, 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 for about a year or so just okay. to have some, you know, right. bill to bill pay somehow, and all exactly. that. Yeah. And then I um, did some home care, like taking care of people. Okay. Yeah. And that really changed my, my, my view because um, at that time I was a little depressed. You know how we always are yeah. depressed. And at that time, because my relationship was not working. Yeah. So I was depressed and I, I went to um, a very down Right. In my right. dream, my life it was very difficult. Yeah. Yes, and with those home care, I came across many different people um, with different difficulties yeah. in their life, physically, health. Okay. Right. Um, when I look at them, when I, you know, interact with them, I, I it reflect back to me. Look at myself. Like, oh, my problem is not really a big yeah. deal. You know, so, yeah, it's inspiring to see yes. all the things they have to yes. face. So, and... so, so, so that's why I was like. I hit a wall, but I was like, you know, don't know how to get back up. Mm -hmm. And and those people are somehow invisibly helped me to heal. And then, yeah, and then that's they, yeah, and then they made me realize, I my my pain, my experience wasn't as bad as theirs. So yeah. why am I crying? Right, feel sorry for yeah. myself. For. Right. So oftentimes we put my put ourselves as a victim. That's yes. another victim. right. Yeah, and people are doing such inspiring things in order just to survive that. You know, we can learn and grow from that. So that's a great example. Yes. It's a beautiful how you impersonalize, you internalize that and use that for your own personal development. Yeah. So how about you? Do you have anything like like life-changing moments that makes you, like, you know, yes, I, move forward? There may be a, a few. Um, definitely, so far, the biggest change in my life has been transitioning mm -hmm. and coming into the the fullness of who I always knew who I was. And it's funny because my wife, when we first got married, called me emotionally illiterate, <laughs> which was pretty accurate at the time. And now I was actually just talking to a friend yesterday about the ability to handle multiple emotions at once, um, even if they're good and bad, yes. and the personal development I've had mm -hmm. gr and grow through my own transition and through relationships with others, of course. You, yes. you Like you said, you, you pick up and you learn things from from others around you. Right. Um, but to see the, the more complete, the fullness person I am, and it, it definitely affects business as well, because um, I'm able to go in and out of circles much more readily. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. still introverted, of course, but it's much easier to be who I am. Right. And of course we always have the, are we accepted? What is this community? Is this a safe place for me? What's going on um, behind the scenes? But the just the and I talk about this a lot. Um, the be the ability to walk in authenticity is priceless. Yes, and so that for me has been so affirming, life affirming, and inspired me in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. And and to invest in the community that has has indirectly invested in me and in, mm -hmm. in very practical ways even saved my life right. to see what the future could be. Yes. and so I know some people have difficulties with showing before and after pictures. And I, I do mm -hmm. as well. I tried to do it because I know it, what it meant to me when I was, or before I transitioned and knowing that there is hope and yes. man, HRT actually can work. Right. And, and so things, but um, it is inspiring to know the journey that we've been on and then follow through and see the growth of what's happening. So. Yes. See, when you mentioned about the before and after picture, um, I post one for myself too. <laughs> I wasn't comfortable as well, especially um, I did not have a lot of photos mm -hmm. during my previous life. Yeah. I wasn't, I don't like to take pictures. Yeah. There's no selfie right. whatsoever. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, but the thing is like you mentioned, we, let's say we share that on uh, social media. 
you will never know who's watching. Right. You will never know who's That's looking at it or listening That's to it. And because throughout my 10 years, I did movies, I did this and did that. Um, there's many times that people come to you and say, oh, I saw you do this. Yeah, I saw well, you do that. Right. And you kind of helped me. It's very, yeah. I don't know, it, it makes me feel touching. Right, In exactly. a way, because I'm just doing what I like, you know, right. passion. Right, exactly. And, and, and share my own stories or right. my vision. And if I can impact other people exactly. and impact the world, totally. you know, why not? Totally. Right? Get back to what's been given yeah. to us. Yeah, I, I'm out specifically because probably 99.9% of the people in my old life um, knew nothing or very, very little about trans people or even not known a trans person. Right. And so knowing that even if relationship is not there, if I was able to be visible and they can kind of see the journey, maybe it'll normalize it for them a little bit. And even what if one of their children come out as trans or LGBTQ yes. in the community? And so hoping to to bring awareness and helping them to see this is not something with just men dressed in dresses, right. you know, walking through the library in the <laughs> afternoon. But it is, it it is, and we learn science. We've learned so much more about gender being a spectrum, and you know, some people call it a universe. But um, just normalize and legitimize our existence, and being out there and telling our stories is important. Yeah, I think. Um... This episode is brought to you by Kitcaster. Kitcaster books you on top podcasts. How do funded startup founders attract prospects and talent? Podcast interviews. How do entrepreneurs with exits find new deals? Podcast interviews. How do C-suite execs differentiate in crowded markets? Podcast interviews. Kitcaster books you on top podcasts. Click the link in the show notes for a special offer. Celebrate good conversation. Majority of people are not understanding or right. doesn't know anything about it. It creates a fear or, or totally. afraid yes. or misunderstood. Exactly. So yeah. that's why they have right. the rejection. Exactly. So that's why these uh, kind of um, experience um, visibility is very right. important. And that's not to say we want to be sure that we're covering all our bases. If if someone's stealth, which is the term, if they are. Um, more to themselves. A lot of people don't know that they're trans or maybe mm -hmm. even anyone. And that is completely valid and legitimate because you need to make your own decisions where you are in life. And if the environment you are is safe for you, is it a place where you can blossom and develop more? Right. Um, so everybody's journey is diff different, even though there's so many similarities, everybody's yes. journey is different. Right. For me, it was a more of a cognitive choice to be fully out and vocal um, but some people don't have that ability, and that's fine. That's completely valid. Yeah, so I heard a lot of actually amazing story during COVID, and I, I know a lot of people suffer. I'm not saying, yeah. you know, it's it's a good thing, but but out of that, a lot, I heard a lot of um, positive uh, inf uh, impact. P personally, I because I, I start like I said, I started having a lot of time at home, I started reading books. Mm -hmm. I started right. watching other people's YouTube or even listen to other people's podcasts. That's why I right. came about to do this show. Yeah, and so, and I have a you know new morning morning routines and daily life routines because of COVID. Yeah, and then I <clears throat> and business wise, mm -hmm. it's also because of COVID. Right, and you transition. Yes. came out because yeah. of COVID. Well, I would have so. I would have anyway because I started January fifth of mm -hmm. two thousand of 2020, yeah. not knowing what the year was going to be. Right. Now. Nobody um, knew. But it was definitely, especially working as a social worker in a community health clinic, yeah. um, I was directly relating with patients, even visiting them and, you know, helping going on, on appointments with them. Mm -hmm. um, so that was my biggest fear is how will my patients relate to me during transition? Right. And so, but COVID made that very easy because everything <laughs> yes. became virtual. Yes. And, um, and then wearing the masks definitely mm -hmm. helped and right. um especially those few days before like trialysis you know to cover things up is <laughs> yes. very helpful um did you wear any heels and walking around like carrie <laughs> um a little bit i i am not as good as carrie from our last from episode yeah, two yeah, yeah. um well, Carrie is, shared a link right down there so people exactly. can rewatch right <laughs> but watch. i i did a little bit yes yeah yeah, yeah because um 
I think uh, it's funny. High heel is part of the transitioning somehow yeah, <laughs> from, from, right. from, you know, from, fe- from male to female. Yes. Yeah. Cause that's kind um, of a, a stereotype that, you know, we would all long to, <laughs> to do in my past life. Like, Oh, I love yeah. to wear heels. But... Mm-hmm. So yeah. So COVID changed my life actually in a positive way. Mm-hmm. And without COVID, I don't think I'll be sitting here doing this show. Yeah. To be honest right. with you. Yeah. So, um, and business wise, they call yes. it change your business. Yes, I I definitely took advantage of the time. I I really love the people and the patients that I worked with, mm-hmm. with a couple exceptions. There was a few people that um, were not my favorite to work with, <laughs> okay. and uh, actually one of them made me cry. It was the first time I cried in probably fifteen years or something, and, yeah. and I couldn't stop. And it was one of those ugly oh. cries. Um, but taking that opportunity to start my own businesses mm-hmm. um, was scary, especially when I'm trying to cover the mortgage of my family home and my rent mm-hmm. and everything. Right. Um, but definitely taking the opportunity to learn and grow, like you said, watch a lot of things. You right. have much more time yes. um, specifically for that you need to fill right. that I learned. And so taking the opportunity to kind of ideate through the process of starting Transowned mm-hmm. and now Flourish Social, um, definitely it was beneficial. Yeah. I, I, I'm like you too. At the same time, I learned that um, it's okay to have multiple stream of income. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah, because growing up, we just learned, go get a job, yes, one job, exactly. and then make a lot of money. Right. But in today's world, everything is so uncertain. Right. You know, you, exactly. you especially for us, you, know, you yeah. never know what happened. Right. Like your job. You, were, <laughs> yeah. you weren't even out yet, but they still... Yeah, I was about they, to they come still out. They you I don't know why, but, but up until but, today, I don't know the real reason. Yeah. The reason I was giving is we need... Um, more sales-driven people. Mm. And I've been there for six, seven years. Yeah. If I'm not sales-driven. And you're now a real estate agent. And so if I'm not sales-driven, then that's what it funny. is. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so you start a lot of different business, and mm-hmm. so do I have real estate. Yeah. I have um, I have a VA, a virtual assistant. Mm-hmm. Um, I also have a health and beauty, skincare yes, products. Exactly. So different Some great revenue. So yes. I, I, th- I think that's a very good. And I also continue to create uh, content, yes. media. Yeah. Um, and the goal, one, hope, hopefully one day um, LGBT love stories will be um, streaming. That's right. still, still exactly. my, my, my that's goal. Still, and, still and I owe to all the cast yeah, and the, the crew because they right. put in their effort, I, you know, their, their talent mm-hmm. on, onto the film. Right. So, and if you if you want to see Shelby's <laughs> show, you can look it up on YouTube and uh, yeah, see her in trailers. action. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. So it was great. It was very fun to to watch you in that environment. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you're you're right. We live in such a time where it's not as difficult as it used to be mm-hmm. to start things. Yes. Like I was able to for three hundred dollars buy some some software, basically code that I was able to plug in and create mycitymaps.co mm-hmm. and where you can you can customize maps. And so, you know, without a lot of capital and also without a lot of capital right now to uh-huh. that uh, I need to market that, but right. um, it's not that difficult. And we encourage is our show, especially because yeah. of our community being so um, having a hard time in many cases with employment and unemployment and underemployment mm-hmm. that you can um, branch out and do things. And so we want to be an encouragement for that yes. as people seek that. Yes. A lot of business, I just want to give little tips. A lot of business doesn't involve, um, money upfront. Right. Exactly. For example, um, the skincare that I'm, mm-hmm. I'm doing. Yes. Um, if you guys are interested, I can leave a link yes. down below, but Good stuff. you know, you don't have to have inventory. Right. And the website is provided to you for free. Right. And then, you know, we have uh, people um, coaching you, uh, mm-hmm. show you the road, and it's all free. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah. And then all you have to do is be on social media and promote, and that's it. Right. And uh, same thing with uh, affiliate links. Yes. You don't need any offer money. Right. And you just need to be you, actually, <laughs> on social media. Right. Exactly. And then talk about products. Right. Yeah. So, so there's always a way, because a lot of times people focus on problems. Not um, 
solutions. Yes, so exactly. That's why exactly. You, you yeah, it's important to, to learn the pain points that you're trying to provide resources for, but focus on the results. Focus right. on the solutions. How, how to? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, we I want to ask Solomon, what? How did he start um, this podcast place? Well, um, the story is sort of similar. I'm, I've actually been in PR and marketing for, well, since 2010. Before that, I was an editor for a magazine. Uh -huh. And um, one of the things that I was doing here that I liked, I mean, I, I really enjoy the business. Uh, the issue is, you know, you sit in this office by yourself, you know, you work with people remotely, your clients are remote, everybody's remote, and you got this vibrant neighborhood, and you look outside, you see everybody walking by, and you realize, I don't interact with the neighborhood no. at all. I don't interact with anybody. So COVID hit and like, like it's just been this ongoing theme that you're right, despite the, the, the travesty and, and loss of life and all of the, 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 the terrible stories that, that yeah. has happened, it was, it was really time for reflection, right? Yes. I mean, people, sure. you know, if, if you think of working as swimming and like just constantly like you're going, you got your head down. COVID gave you a chance to sort of look up and reassess your direction, yes, you know? That's right. And and I think for me, it was sort of that same thing. I had started to put together a little bit of a multimedia section in my office um, for my clients to introduce new products or whatever. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. And I thought, what if I use this to interact with my community? And, you know, lots, lots of people were coming in and they were doing, you know, that you hear they're doing their podcast at home, right? You go yeah, to Best Buy, you, like, you can't find a webcam anywhere, yes. right? Because they're either doing podcasts or they're working, doing Zoom or whatever. And so right, there exactly. was always this question of would people be willing to now come into a, you know, a, a, a slightly better environment mm -hmm. and, and do it here and pay for that? And so it was a chance I took. So I, I invested heavily in uh, equipment. I didn't, yeah. I didn't go cheap. I, you know, I put yes, a lot yes, into this. Top of the line a, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Very, very professional. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. It, it gives us a, a production value. Oh my gosh. Yes. That... Yeah. And I put a lot into the audio. I learned a lot. Um, and I, and I made some mistakes and, you know, my first client was, um, these four kids who came in and they said, um, you know, one of the guys called me and goes, Hey, I want to do a podcast with my four friends. And I go, well, I'm sorry. I can only fit two people. Cause that, <laughs> that was, I thought, you know, most podcasts yeah. are two, you know, Yes, well, right. it's four of us. I want to do a podcast with my four friends. And he was just so insistent. Oh, and I said, okay. So he came in. I met his four friends. They were all high school seniors. And they wanted to do a podcast called Four Teens for Change. And oh. the podcast was helping these, you know, high school kids sort of, you know, figure mm -hmm. out high school and give advice on different Very things. Cool. And so I said, okay, well, you know what? I'll make you a deal. Oh, well, I'll actually make you a double deal. I'm going to figure out a way to accommodate four people. And I'm going to charge you guys $40 oh. to do the podcast. Okay. And, but with that $40, you're going to allow me to make mistakes. So it's sort of like getting your hair cut at barber yeah. school. Right? <laughs> and right. so, you know, we, we went through a lot that. of different things and, you know, and the kids were great. And, um, you know, and, and, and I, you know, they come in and they, we would try different things and it wouldn't work out and blah, blah, blah. And so I was able to set up different things. And so it really helped evolve the system. The other yeah. thing it helped me evolve was a system by which, when clients would come in and say, hey, it would be great if we had this, right. you can really evaluate and say, well, right. yeah, maybe we should add that if it, if it benefits yeah. everybody. So yes. slowly the whole thing sort of starts to come together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you can know? we get a phone stand? To yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like and see, there, there you go, the phone stand. It's right. like, I need an extra one. Okay, so now we got two. Right. So, um, so really, it was, it, was, it was really that evolution. And I'll, I'll tell you this, um, honestly, I mean... I, you make more money doing B2B, working with big companies. I mean, it's just how it is. Yeah. You know, you get retainers. And, and I always joke with people, um, this business model is a little bit different because you're dealing with individual podcasts. They pay yes. per thing. So okay. every day you're doing something. So it's sort of like I went from working at a law office to working at a liquor store. Now. <laughs> you know, it's like they're both good businesses, but it's just a different model, right? Correct. I mean, one, you got five or six customers paying you larger money. And the other, you got you know, lots of smaller customers paying you smaller bits more frequently. So hopefully we're not the winos hanging out front. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, get out my store. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been probably the most fulfilling thing that I've done. Wow. Um, I've always been driven by helping people and knowing that what I do makes a difference. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, always been my right. thing. And so to see that, to see those four kids now, they came in two weeks ago, they did their podcast. They're all graduating. They told me one's oh. going to, two of them are going to UC Berkeley. One's going to San Diego State. Nice. And I think one's going to UCLA. And 
it just makes you proud because yes. you know you saw the evolution um you know while they're coming here i have time to coach them talk to them about yes. life and things like oh, that and that. and you're happy for them and so there's a story like that with every Everybody. person yeah, who comes yeah. in, including you guys yeah. i mean you know it's not it's not and i tell people when they come in it's it's not about me renting you space it's me understanding what your values are, what your mm -hmm. missions are, what your goals are, mm -hmm. and then helping you achieve that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, adding my insight, my marketing right. expertise, exactly. my presentation expertise along the way. Yeah, along Solomon with... created our logo. Yeah. yeah. I, I was telling That's him why. this morning, <laughs> there's not too many logos that I like that I didn't create, but I yeah. really like ours. The logo was, was a bit of an accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a good accident. Yeah. When I first, first, first time walks in here and he really, um, Set, set me down and, and really ask me what I want to do, you yeah. know, try to, to learn what, what I need and what I've tried to achieve. So that's very different from yes. any kind of business because right. a lot of business just money, 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 cash, cash, cash. Exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, then yeah. he, and what you mentioned earlier is um, the process is the value, you know, because, right. because like those four things, you, you, you guide them from here to there. Right. So yeah. Exactly. In the between the process is what's the value is. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I, and I really want to be able to like, you know, for me, and it, and it all started when I, I met a lady, I was walking in the neighborhood, this beautiful neighborhood here in uh, California Heights, you know, all the old houses. And, yeah. and I saw a lady doing gardening guys. We started to talk and everything. And she was obviously a lot of expertise. And, and she mentioned, she goes, yeah, I always wanted to start a podcast, but <laughs> But, mm. And I've heard that so many yes. times, the yeah. but, and the but usually is followed by, I don't know where to start. I don't know what equipment totally. to buy, blah, totally. blah, blah, you know, all, I wouldn't know where to do it, you know, lighting, this and that. Yes. And my thought was, what if I could take all of that away? What if you as a creator could yes. come in and just sit down and just create yes. and then leave and, and everything else is handled, exactly. you know, and you get your, your footage the next day and it's not this big process mm -hmm. and it's all ready to upload, like right. ready to go, yes. exactly. you know, not this Which is big, amazing. yeah, not this big post-production. And then the other thing too, is I, I didn't want to price out young creators. I mean, I looked at right. some of the models in LA and things like that. I mean, for what you do here, I think it's like probably $350 an episode. And, wow. you know, I wouldn't be able to get any young people. I'd be back to the same old B2B thing, mm -hmm. you know? And so... I wanted to price it in a way where you can come and start at a, at a thing and sort of grow as the right, show grows. Right. And, and it's been fun because, you know, like I said, from talking with you guys, talking with all of the other shows, we have about 24 shows now, oh, wow. starting from that one, you know, and then and I started this in June um, wow. and uh, I've just evolved the business. You, you know, you add on services that make sense that right. stay within your area of efficiency, mm -hmm. but give you more, a higher totally. level of customization yeah. for every client. Right. And I think it's, it's a, it's a pretty balanced model. Just right as now. something as, as simple as changing the curtain behind us. Yes. You know, we have choices. Yeah. It's called tweaking and pivot. Right. pivot. Yeah. 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 So, so that, yeah. that was a, and that's a funny story too, because I had a client said, you know, these two, I call them the nuns, right? That, that's <laughs> oh, yeah. they're, they're coming and they they do a podcast called whole into the full. And it's mm -hmm. a, it's a pretty successful podcast sure. right. and they wanted to do white curtains. Because they talk about, you know, religion, God, right. and okay. they felt it went with it. And so I said, okay, I'll buy white curtains because mm -hmm. I figure other people may want white curtains too. Right. So first time I had to transition and take the gray ones off, I take it down, I pull the thing apart and I'm, right. you know, trying to put the curtains on, trying not to get the white ones dirty, trying to get the, trying to get everything wrinkled. And it was a mess. And I said, you know what, I'm going to go to Target and just buy another curtain <laughs> rod. And so yes. now I just take the whole rod down, I store mm -hmm. it in the back, put a whole mm -hmm. rod up and it's like a five minute process. And so yes. now I can do the white, the red or and gray, color. you know, so yes. just those little yeah. totally. efficiency yeah. tweaks, you know, make it yes. possible to Absolutely. get people custom, but still Absolutely. run the business with a flow, right. you know? Right. right. So obviously we're big fans of, of Solomon and mm -hmm. the podcast yes. place here. So if you're in Southern California and need a place to shoot anything, this, we highly recommend this, but also he was talking the other day about franchising. And so <laughs> Maybe uh, if any of uh -oh. buddies out there <laughs> that's interested in setting something up like this, um, you can really <laughs> come and work with Solomon and he'll for for a charge. Um, for a franchise fee. I think um, Michelle so. just became my agent. I, oh. I, I think so. <laughs> yeah, okay, then I'll take a five to feet. Well. Yeah, after this podcast, you need to sit, you and I need to sit down and start doing some planning. No, but there. I mean, this is such a service. And yes. more and more people, again, it was never really on my radar to do a, a podcast. Mm -hmm. But because of the hassle primarily, 
but a lot of people are talking about this and and even in our community it's it's important for us to get our message out. We see all yes. these, these, we talked about it before mm-hmm. on different episodes mm-hmm. of the legislation that's happening against us, trying mm-hmm. to, to un, unalive us, un, mm-hmm. to make us extinct, yes. but we're not, and we're not going to go anywhere and yeah. we won't be erased. Yes. And so the more that we can share our voice because our voice is important and our voice mm-hmm. adds to, to our society, our world here. Um, I, we definitely, I think I'll speak for Shelby. We definitely would recommend, you know, getting your voice out there. Even if you don't like your own voice and you don't <laughs> think you're like me, great on front of camera, but um, it's important that we, we speak up. Yeah. Um, and also I want to point out is um, um, a lot of people also af- afraid of um, going to um, start a business because, right. um, because um, budgets or anything Related and and what Solomon says, it's okay to not be perfect in the beginning. Right. Like our show is not perfect in the beginning, but we do a little tweaking, little yeah. pivot. Uh, the the most important thing is starting. Yes, that's including yes. that. That's Absolutely. also related to life transform trans, transitioning. Right. If you don't start, you will never know right. what happened. Exactly. If you if you gonna hide in the closet per se, right. for whatever reason, I you know, then you will never know. What will happen? And, right. then, and then a lot of people give um, excuses, like like Solomon <laughs> used, but <laughs> right. So so that also you know it's not a good thing to do. So yeah. yeah. So our voice, our show here is to encourage you guys, and hopefully, um, if you guys again, if you guys have any question, maybe yes, you want to ask about what her, how do they she start her business or how how yes. we start our shows or right. whatever. Exactly. You, you know, we can reach out to us, email, social media, and we will have links down below again. And also if you think our show has value, you know, message or even Solomon's uh, production value, you can support us, you know, yeah. uh, sponsorship. We also, everything is welcome or even just a coffee for the three of us. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, so we, I'm going to provide a link down below, you know, awesome. check it out. And we're going to have a newsletter link down below, too. And what else am I missing? Um, the newsletter we talked about uh-huh. and um, the buy, buy a coffee. And <laughs> so, I'm drinking but uh, exactly. We, but back to the building community and your voice is important. Your message is important. No matter what stage you're in, if you're trans, if you're cis, if you're in the LGBTQ community, your voice is important. So don't be afraid to to stand out and stand up and let your voice be heard. And again, we always say, you know, make sure the environment around you is safe and that you're taking, being taken care of mentally and physically, but, um, but you matter and we want everybody to know that. Yeah. And um, last thing, Solomon, do you have anything to say lastly before we mention about the giveaway? Oh, no. You know, uh, fr- franchise at podcastplace.com. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm always learning, always growing. So, you know, two weeks from now, I'm going to be excited to tell you guys about something new I've added probably, but (laughs) you know, um, thanks for the time for letting me sort of describe, you know, this is, you know, me, I'm all about your branding, right? It's like, this is not about me. It's about you. And so I I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. But it, but you're a good example of how to start a business and the systematize and figure out your operation as you go along is is key, key learning for all of us. Okay, so um, our giveaway is um, we're going to give away two uh, logo designs. If, you, if you're if thinking about starting business or if you already have a business but you want to kind of change your logo, yes, then rebrand. we're giving every yeah, brand. We're going to yeah. give away two free logo designs. Um, all you have to do, again, is subscribe to our newsletter and subscribe to our channels and follow us on yes. Instagram. Right. And we will announce the winner um, from our social media, uh, Instagram, yes. Facebook. Um, what about you? Do you have anything to give away from Transong? Um Yes, I can give out some of our, our products. Um, but yeah, just we really want your involvement in this. Yes. This is not just the, the Shelby and Michelle show, yes. but... Um, this is community building. This is about us with right. the capital U, all about right. us. Right. Okay. So check out Michelle's website, Transong, and um, also 
we're gonna have our website down uh, the show website yeah. down below and subscribe all that good stuff yes. even and, if you're not interested in the logo or rebranding please subscribe let everybody know yeah, share our show if if our <laughs> if our show can help be value to someone please let them yes. know okay so that's it for today's show thank right. you so much and we'll see you again next bye -bye. time bye bye see you next bye -bye. time bye bye, bye, -bye.